Asuka was generally considered to be a fairly balanced character in Season 1, mostly falling in the mid-tiers and sometimes placed a bit higher in tournament settings. Her defensive toolkit allows her to frustrate opponents by chipping away at their health and then punishing them when they make a mistake. Asuka has a wide range of moves to deal with different defensive scenarios. Can cans, back 3 for low crushing, down back 2 and down back 4 for high crushing, side step 2 to evade mids, and also one of the best rage drives in the game. What she lacked heavily was her offense and often struggled once at a life deficit. Playing aggressive with Asuka can be risky, and most of the time you end up killing yourself against a defensive opponent. In Season 2, Asuka has received many buffs to her offense, making her an absolute beast. Let's check them out. 113 and forward 13 both strings have been buffed as the opponent is now closer on block and on hit. The counter hit reaction has also been changed, allowing Asuka to combo with full forward 23 instead of dash 1 plus 4, giving you an easier and higher damaging combo. 3 is a safe mid kick. The increased hitbox is a welcome debuff as in season 1 it was a little deceptively short as most of Asuka's kicks have greater range than her punches. The 1 follow up on hit has been changed to plus 8 for plus 2 which is a huge buff to Asuka's offense but in exchange it no longer gives a combo on counter hit, instead you get a free up forward 4. I would still consider this a buff as it is rare to get a counter hit on the second hit as it is unsafe at minus 11 on block. Asuka's leg sweep has received a minor buff. Buff, expanded hitbox and homes still should be used very rarely and probably never offline as it is reactable. 1 plus 4 2 down 4 received a minor buff with the hitbox being expanded, but this does not matter as you can only still pick up with a down back 4 3 for a combo and is still very unsafe on block. Forward 1 plus 2 is now a safe high power crusher that can wall splat changed from minus 11 to minus 9 and had its recovery decreased by 1 frame on hit. This is a great buff as the move isn't that fast and and also being a high, it didn't feel right that it was also unsafe. Down 1 plus 2 was mainly used near the wall but has been buffed to be closer on hit giving a free forward 2 in an open space. A fair buff for a slow low that's launch punishable. Down back 3 got a nice buff with increased damage by 1, increased hitbox and counter hit reaction was changed to a knee stun. Asuka the new dragon off confirmed. <coughs> Back 2 1 plus 2 is now safe on block from minus 10 to minus 9. Frame advantage on hit was also increased from plus 1 to plus 2. Back 4 2 3 slightly buffed with the third hit guaranteed after the second hit landing. The input window changed from 26 frames to 28 frames. I don't see this being used too much because back 4 is normally used by itself to fish for counter hits or the whole string is used as a combo ender. The extra input window does help but isn't enough to make the string hit confirmable. Forward forward 1 is Asuka's only plus on block bin, not including her unblockable with 2 spins and rage drive. It is a great move that deals a whopping 30 damage, breaks walls and floors and can also counter hit for a full combo. Its only weakness is that it's pretty slow at 24 frames and the whiff animation caused her to hop on one foot. In season 2 they got rid of that so it's a whole lot better on whiff. This greatly improves Asuka's offensive potential and lowers her risk using that move. Forward forward 3 is one of the best buffs to Asuka in season 2. It now has an increased hitbox and can cause screws on counter hits and mid air attacks. I recommend using this as much as possible as it is safe, homes and can also high crush. Asuka has one of the weakest while standing punishment toolkits in the game, which fortunately gets a buff in season 2. While standing 1 now has a startup of 14 frames, which means you can get a 49 damage combo from blocking Kazumi's down back 2. While standing 3 has also been changed from 19 frames to 18 frames, making moves like Heihachi's Ashi! now launch punishable. Full crouch down forward 2 received a buff increasing its frame advantage by an extra 2 frames on counter hit, so now a good Asuka player with execution can launch an opponent with a crouch cancel down forward 2. It's also received a slight nerf to push back on block so opponents can now punish consistently with while standing 4. This is fair as most people want to low parry as it will deal more damage and wall carry. Full crouch down forward 3 is the move that received the most changes in season 2, now becoming Asuka's wall bounce move. Damage has been increased from 17 to 20, startup frames reduced from 18 to 17, is now safe on block at minus 9 instead of minus 13, the hitbox has been expanded downwards and recovery decreased by 5 frames on hit making it easier to combo after landing this move. This makes Asuka's wall standing game very scary, and especially if she has you against the wall. The homing has been decreased, which makes sense considering now that it's safe, as well as the crouch status being removed means it no longer high crushes. You also no longer get a combo after a counter hit, as the wall bounce mechanic has overwritten the counter hit stun. 
forward 131 and forward 4 received a minor buff with the hitbox being expanded. The pushback on all of Asuka's low pokes have received a slight nerf, making it easier for opponents to punish consistently. Not a big deal. Players can now do a tech roll when used against the wall. 